Just going to lay out a couple things before we start here. Before we agreed to officially start this uh, opening, the official opening of the park, we did meet with our City of Fayetteville's Emergency Management Team and the Cumberland County Health Department, both of who support us opening this park today. Of course, staying within the governor's executive order and guidelines for mass gatherings to keep below 25 people. Uh, we do ask that folks follow the rules that are posted up over here on signs and throughout the park, which basically says to wear personal protective equipment, wear a helmet, wear elbow pads, and wear knee pads. I'm going to cut that part short. We're going to jump into Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Jensen, who is the chair of our Parks and Rec Bond Committee. We'll also introduce the mayor, and then we're going to have some short remarks, and then we'll move over here for the ribbon cutting, and we will beat this storm. So without further ado, Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Jensen. Thank you, Mr. Arada. Good evening. I am Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Jensen, City Council Representative for District 1. I would like to welcome all of you to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the most anticipated Rowan Street Park Skateboard Park. Um, I'm going to go a little bit back. I don't think anybody can be as happy as me and Council Member Wright over here that has been with me on the committee from day one. So um, thank you everyone for coming out. And I do want to acknowledge Terry Gimble right over here. Terry is like a phenomenal skateboarder in our town and has helped us through the process and given us lots of advice and kept us moving saying it's going to happen. So I asked him today, I said, is it everything you thought? He said, yes. So we're doing good. Okay, I'm hurrying. The skateboard was funded by approximately $1 million from the bond referendum passed in 2016 by citizens to pay for parks and recreation products projects and improvements. The skate park is welcomed addition to many skateboard enthusiasts in Fayetteville and Cumberland County, and we are excited to finally officially open it up for use. The skateboard park will be open daily from dawn to dusk. We would like to thank the citizens of Fayetteville for funding this skateboard park. It is because of our citizens approving a $35 million parks and bond in 2016 that this was able to come to fruition. I would also like to thank the contractor Alpha Builders, a local Fayetteville company, for their excellent work in building this park. Another incentive that we have mastered. And a note of thanks goes to Team Payne from Florida. Team Payne, if, for those of you who are not aware, is designed and constructed specialty in skate parks. They have built skate parks for the renowned Tony Hawk, a famous skateboarder who border for those not familiar with the name. Team Payne also builds for the Olympic Committee. So what you have here is a top-notch, state-of-the-art skateboard design, des design for the world-renowned firm constructed by a local firm right here in Fayetteville. Thank you all for making this such a special place for our citizens and skaters. My thanks to, to the Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation staff for their hard work in making this a place to enjoy. I now would like to introduce our mayor, Mitch Colvin, the city, our mayor of the city of Fayetteville, who will tell us some special features about the park. Um, again, thank you for coming out. This has been a long time coming and a lot of hard work has been put into it. So thank you for the time. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause for Mayor Pro Tem Jensen, who is also the chairwoman of the Parks and Rec Committee. And certainly I would like to acknowledge our, our great city council who is here. I'll start with my right, Councilman Johnny Dawkins, District 5, Councilwoman Shaquilla Ingram, our city manager Doug Hewitt, Councilmember Larry Wright, District 7, Councilmember DJ Hare from District 4, Councilmember Chris Davis, District 6, Councilmember Yvonne Kinston, District 9, and Councilmember Courtney Banks McLaughlin. District 8, can we give them a round of applause as well? You know, quality of life projects take an intestinal fortitude of a council, and I would like to thank our previous council, as well as this council and our city management, management team uh, for commitment to bring a quality of life to the citizens of Fayetteville, North Carolina. You know, as I was thinking and listening to the remarks of the Mayor Pro Tem, I remember that 21 years old, uh, I had a, an event, a community event at that very uh, stage that is located to my right and I remember how <clears throat> how I was very much 
impressed by the fact that I had actually met the mayor of the city of Fayetteville during that event. It was called Youth Memorial Day. I was a young man fresh out of college and I wanted to bring a awareness to the violence in our city. And I remember going home that day saying I had really met the mayor of the city of Fayetteville and his name was Mayor Johnny Dawkins and today I have the pleasure of serving with his son. <clears throat> so it shows just how our community has advanced. At that time the focal point of this part was a blue whale and, and that stage. But today we are the host of a world-class uh, skateboard park and recreational center. And that just shows the progress of our community and our city and its advancement and its diversity. So thank you uh, to the city staff. Thank you to the members of council, both previous and present, who have shown a commitment to bringing a quality of life to the citizens of Fayetteville. And with that, because of the inclement and pending weather that we have, I would ask that my colleagues on council would meet us over here so that we can cut the ribbon and begin and turn the page of a day of a new era in the city of Fayetteville. God bless you.